Infinix is one of the well-known brands in the Philippines thanks to their ability to deliver high-performing smartphones on an affordable price tag. This time, they step foot in the world of Android tablets. Would they be able to deliver the same quality of device that they did in the smartphone market? Maboy Manila, this is Pope, and this is our review of Infinix's first ever tablet, the Infinix X-Pad. Infinix is not that well known when it comes to their design. Unlike other pads at this price point, this one comes with a different approach to its design. Although it looks simple, it still offers a yet premium looking style. The back panel has a two-tone design with a patterned finish on the left side and a smooth aluminum design on the right. It has a robust build and the device feels durable. It weighs in at 496 grams, however, it feels lighter when carried around since most of the time you are using this device is placed on a phone stand, sitting down, or with both your hands. As for button placements, over the top, you will find the power button, volume rockers, and SIM tray. On the left side, you'll get a dual speaker, and on the right is another dual speaker grill, USB-C port for charging, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. For an 11-inch tablet, this is surprisingly light. It is comfortable to carry around even with one hand plus it has a good grip thanks to the two-tone design of its back panel. Now turning over the device, the Infinix X-Pad boasts an 11-inch Full HD Plus display paired with a 90Hz refresh rate. Using it for entertainment offers impressive quality. It has crisp and sharp details with vibrant color reproduction. However, it is not the best when it comes to outdoor use since it only sports 414 nits of brightness. Still, using this device for multimedia consumption delivers decent performance. Considering its price, it is also surprising that this one comes with a fast refresh rate which adds fluidity to our overall experience. Heading towards the camera department, the Infinix X-Pad boasts an 8 megapixel sensor on both the rear and front cameras. Both cameras capture decent shots, especially with decent lighting conditions. It has ample amounts of details and decent sharpness. It also comes with a wide dynamic range with no visible deep blacks or deep shadows. As for video recording, both the rear and the front camera can shoot up to 2K at 30fps without any stabilization features. As for power, under the hood, the Infinix x pad is powered by a MediaTek Helio G99 chip that is paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. The Infinix x pad runs on Android 14, slapped with XOS 14 out of the box. The G99 chip may be outdated, but it still delivers to this day. We tried playing Mobile Legends and it outputs a smooth results with little to no frame drops at all. However, the issue that we encountered was that the device started to feel warm after an hour of gaming. For more details, here are some of its benchmark results. Now for its battery. The Infinix X-Pad is backed by a 7000mAh battery capacity that is then paired with 18 watts of wire charger. During our Vigilip test, it lasted us about 16 hours and 12 minutes. As for juicing up the device from 0 to 100% with its 18 watts charging, it took us around 2 hours and 38 minutes. Finally, let's talk about the price. The Infinix X-Pad offers two variants. The Wi-Fi only variant is priced at 7,499 pesos for the 4 gigs plus 128 gigs content. While the 4G LTE, which is the unit that we have, is priced at 9,499 pesos that comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. For a first attempt, Infinix manages to deliver a competitive and affordable device. If you're eyeing a tablet and you're on a tight budget, you might want to consider the Infinix X-Pad since it offers good battery life, decent display, and a reliable performance, all under 10,000 pesos. So that is a review of the Infinix X-Pad. What are your thoughts about this tablet? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future tests. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com and follow us on FB, X, and TikTok for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest devices. Once again, this is Pope and Mabuhay Manila.